It's a great way to get around, exercise for you, clean air for the earth, but cycling does have problems, especially if you have to store your bike on a bus or the front of a cab or even at home. Well, now there could be a solution to the storage dilemma, the crossbreed collapsible wheel. Duncan Fitzsimmons is the creator of it. He joins me from London, England. So how does this work, Duncan? Okay, well, it's a regular full-size bicycle wheel, but it can fold quickly and easily into a long, elongated shape, such as this. And this will enable you to fold a full-size folding bike uh, up into a package about the size of a golf bag. Now, uh, this is really good for getting into the uh, back of a car or getting onto uh, a shelf uh, in a train um, or even into an overhead locker on an aeroplane. So can you tell me very quickly how it works? How do you do it? Yeah, sure. Um, you simply uh, unlock a clamp at the centre of the wheel and this uh, releases the, the mechanism and you can squash the wheel by grabbing it on either side and folding it into a smaller shape. Now, Duncan, do, does it give you uh, the same sort of ride as a regular wheel? Yeah, when it's circular, it's exactly the same as a regular wheel. Uh, it's uh, just as stiff and just as strong and perfectly circular. Now, what prompted you to come up with it? Well, I've always been a keen cyclist and uh, I moved to London and cycling is a lot more difficult when you live in a big city. So I thought about buying a folding bike and then I realized that a folding bike isn't really a real bike. It's, uh, it's a lot lower performance, it's a lot more wobbly and all of this is because of the smaller wheels. When you're designing a folding bike you need to uh, make a decision whether, what size wheels it has. A folding bike can have big wheels where it's very good at riding but really bad at folding up or it can have really small wheels where it's really good at folding up but really bad to ride and every folding bike designer has to make that decision. Um, there's no best of both worlds solution and the only way to do that is to try and fold the wheel up so I thought I'd uh, have a go. Now you must now have that it's <clears throat> done, uh, sorry, uh, now, now that it's done um, it also opens up new possibilities for wheelchairs as well. Now you must have, uh, once you had the idea first but then you must have had to sort of think your way through various solutions. Can you run me through how you got to where you are now? Yeah, um, it was the sort of problem uh, that you can't think up a solution to. The only way to, to find a way to make it work was to make lots and lots of prototypes uh, and these started just with little cardboard cutouts and drawings and uh, uh, Lego models and, and progressed through bigger and bigger prototypes through to wooden models, uh, models made of cut up uh, regular bicycle wheels through to a uh, full size uh, aluminium prototype which is the first one that I test rode on, on a bike and uh, now I'm developing a carbon fiber version to uh, get it to be lightweight as well as uh, performing well. And, yeah, and <clears throat> so tell me, what's it like, uh, you know, getting around London with this bike where you can fold it right up and then unfold it? Um, well, when you're riding, it's exactly the same as a, as a normal bike, and, that, and that's the best thing. Uh, in a way, it's, it's just a way to, to have a regular bike, but with none of the, uh, with that, none of the downsides. Of course, once I get to where I'm going, I can fold it up into a package which is even smaller and, and, and better to, to, to carry than, uh, than a regular folding bike, and that's, that's just brilliant. When do you think we might see them on the market? Well, there's quite a bit of development to do uh, with the, uh, at the moment, uh, getting the carbon fiber manufacturing sorted out. I'm talking to some manufacturers at the moment about that. Uh, and I'm also um, uh, trying to meet with as many uh, bike and folding bike companies as possible. Uh, to try and find a partner to develop a, uh, a, a bicycle itself to go with the wheel. Well, it's a great idea. Thank you for telling us about it. Okay, thanks a lot. Duncan Fitzsimmons is an industrial design engineer. He's inventor of the crossbreed collapsible wheel. Join me today from London, England.